And so, once again, Norcross has the culture, right? North Burnett's building their culture. So we're going to see who withstands this after we get the anthem done. We'll be back in just a moment for the opening two. We welcome you back inside North Gwinnett Gymnasium. Joel Hilsman and Lewis Preston in our SUV TV. 
top level seats as we get ready for Norcross and North Gwinnett. I'll run down the starting lineups for you one more time. First for the visiting Norcross Blue Devils, it'll be number two, London Johnson, a sophomore at 6'3". Number three, Mir Penome, a sophomore at 6'3". Number five, Jaden Harris, a senior at 6'3". Number 10, Jakai Howard, a freshman at 6'5". And number 23, Cook Yet, a senior at 6'8". Johnson, Penone, Harris, Howard, and Yak. For the North Gwinnett Bulldogs, it'll be number one, Jordan Hancock, a senior at 6'1". Number five, Brendan Rigsby, a senior at 6'2". Number 14, Luke Keller, a senior at 6'6". Number 33, Thomas Alliday, Jr. at 6'6". And number 10, a junior at 6'7", R.J. Gottfried. The Bulldogs and the Blue Devils. They're right down the street. They got a nice little football rivalry, but on the basketball court, this is the first time they've played since the 2015-16 season. They met three times during that season. They were region opponents. Norcross won all three. They have not played since. And that, ironically, was Matt Garner's first year. It was a 6-20 and year for them, but that's the last time they've played Norcross. I mentioned North Gwinnett coming in at 3-1 and in the state tournament the last two years. Here's a caveat. They've never played on the road in the state tournament under Matt Garner. Wow. Says a lot. The winner of this game advances to the quarterfinals. They had to go on the road because of that little coin flip thing. Uh, we're going to talk about that later on. Norcross will get possession first after the jump ball. Excuse me, after this side out of bounds check ball. Norcross all in blue. Blue tops, blue bottoms. It's that deep navy blue. With white numbers, North Gwinnett at home, all in white, white tops, white bottoms, red numbers, black trim. London Johnson has it, and we are underway. No shot clock. Here's Howard. Howard now hands it off, and Panone has it. Panone spins it across. They dump it down. Harrison to Johnson. Johnson to Howard, who dunked Jakai Howard. Very athletic, the freshman, with his first two points. And very simple. When you move the ball from side to side and you get that ball into the middle, it's going to be an easy, it's going to be an easy night there. Nice dump down right there to Howard for the dunk. Hancock had it knocked away. Panone with the steal. Johnson on the break. Jump stop. Left hand. No. Gottfried on the glass. His first one. He swallowed it up. And he'll put it on the floor. He's shown his versatility. The junior has came along. Here's Rigsby. Rigsby in the middle over in the Hancock. Hancock baseline stop. Gives it to Keller. Back to Hancock. He pulls. It's a two. It's short. No. Board to Howard. He outlets it. Here's London Johnson. London Johnson surveying. And now they'll pick it up. Little zone defense now being showed from the North Gwinnett Bulldogs. Showing a nice 2-3. They're getting that thing extended out there a little bit. Kind of playing to the scouting report. Leaving some guys. Backing off some guys. Getting up on some guys. Jaden Harris has pulled a Michael Jordan. He went and changed his jersey number. He's not 25, not 24, not 5. He's 24. So that means Aiden Sherrill, if he plays, we'll have to check that. Hope they caught that in the book. If not, you know what that means. Here comes Howard on the inbound. Now gives it over to Johnson. And now a whistle from the crew chief, and it's on the clock. Yeah, the clock is, it just kept running, and now... It stopped at 649, so it'll be side out of bounds here. And Yak to the Paul commit. The Johnson, the Harris, the Panone, the Johnson. Johnson stopped 17-footer. Hill of the rim, no rebound. Keller. Keller gives it up ahead. Here's Rigsby. Rigsby, a dominant lefty that will dunk on you when he gets the opportunity. The only difference in North Gwinnett right now is this place is not jam-packed because of obvious reasons. If not, we probably would not be able to hear ourselves. Drive, no call. Cook got the board. Harris up ahead. Here comes Johnson. Johnson lost it. Now gives it, and it's Panone inside to Howard. Howard up and in. Wow. Jakai Howard with four points early. I'll tell you one thing. That young freshman has got some go-go gadget legs. He's done a great job sneaking behind that zone the last two possessions and getting a dunk and a nice easy lay-in. Hancock on the catch. Hancock was not with North Gwinnett the last time we had them on SUV TV. He was out playing football. He's going to Ohio State as a cornerback, number one, Jordan Hancock, but he's brought seven points and four rebounds to the basketball floor for this North Gwinnett team. Right. Little one-four set, Keller, backdoor, Allert, jumper, short corner, no. Rebound out of the guard spot to London Johnson. 5.39 and a moving clock. Jaden Harris has it, hesitates, now into the lane, puts it up with the right hand, and he was fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Nice attack by Jaden Harris, whacked across the face and will go to the line. Did you see that nice little hesitation that he had right there? Once he had the hesitation, caused the defender to take and stand up, and then he was able to get that extra gear. Now he's shooting two. You mentioned the lineage that Norcross has, and sometimes you get caught up in playing the jersey. Do you think North Gwinnett may have a little bit of that here early? I don't think so. Um, 
I just think some of it is just the second round playoff jitters. You got to get through those first four minutes, fill out. And I think once again, we always say cream rises to the top. 5-0 start as Harris splits the free throw. North Gwinnett now two and a half minutes gone and don't have a point. Rigsby driving all the way, had it knocked away from behind. Out of bounds, it'll stay with the North Gwinnett Bulldogs. And you said Rigsby, that athletic lefty. He had that thing look like he was going to try to do something there in the paint. Norcross, I mentioned North Gwinnett playing at home. Norcross, a three seed on the road. It's been a long time since they didn't have at least one home state tournament game, but they picked up a victory on the road on Wednesday night. Harris to Howard, corner, three, Ja'Kai, no, board, Hancock. Hancock, a football player showing his strength and going in and grabbing the board. Three minutes gone, but North Gwinnett has not scored. Johnson picking up Hancock. They don't use the screen. Hancock going to drive down the lane. The contact up. No. Keller couldn't get the board. Yak comes away with it, outletting it now to Johnson. There's a lid on it for North Burnett early. Johnson surveys. Here's Yak. Yak now holds it. Harris flashes right in the middle of that 2-3. They don't hit him. Usually you would see a big hit right there, but Harris was there. Now Johnson is there. Now being deliberately patient on offense again is Norcross. Cutting. Yak. Jumper. Good. Cook. Yak. You know, once again right there, I think Norcross is doing a great job. Instead of having the big men taking flash up, they're just kind of rotating their guards through the middle, and the postman's having a hard time figuring what I need to come up and stay back. Rigsby, a long three. Hill of the rim. No, they're one and done every time. Panone has it running now for Norcross. Panone had it knocked away. It goes out of bounds, and it will go to North Gwinnett. It's one and done right now for North Gwinnett. They have not gotten on the offensive glass. Maybe a tip from RJ earlier. Coach Jesse McMillan, 69 and 20 over the last three seasons. Since finishing as the runner up, he went 22 and 9 and lost in the semifinals. Then he went 26 and 4 and lost in the quarterfinals. Now here he is, 21 and 7, and in the second round. Hancock has it at the top between the rings over to Rigsby. 7-0 ball game. Godfrey back to the basket. A multitude of dribbles goes up and scores. Yeah. That was just sheer strength from R.J. Godfrey. Exactly. Once again, always say big-time players are going to have to make big-time plays here in this game. Once again, back in that zone. Drive. Johnson lost it, picked it up. Here's Howard cutting. Good dunk down to Pannon. Up. And off, board, alert, tip fight. It's on the floor. Rigsby comes away with it. He doesn't have the numbers. So he slows it up, and they'll set it up. 7-2 ball game, trying to score on back-to-back -back possessions. Now is North Gwinnett as we come up on three minutes to go. Rigsby, baseline, drive, up, count nice. it, and the foul, Brendan Rigsby. And once again right there, Rigsby being a lefty was a great advantage for him because the guy hacked him across his right hand. Nice left hand finish with a chance at a three-point play. North Gwinnett now going to go dumping and pouring into that bench. Going to Carlberg will come off the bench. Also, Dylan Gary is in. And it looks like Payone is in. Poyan is in the game. Rigsby brick. He could not complete the three-point play. Howard skied for the board, 7-4, to four, but they scored on back-to-back -back possessions. Johnson has it, still no subs yet from, North, uh, from Norcross. Panome into Johnson. Johnson to Howard, back door, had it knocked away in a steal. You can see they want to use the athleticism of Howard on the back doors because he can pogo stick it and dunk it. Here's Godfrey, put it on the floor, turnover. Johnson finally comes up with it, and he'll run with it. Johnson throws it up for Howard, he caught it. And a push call. And you know what, Joel? You made a great point right there about using Howard on that back side of the zone. I would do the same thing and just let him roam freely underneath there. He's doing a great job of finding open spots. Yak out and defensive region second team defensive member Samarion Bond, a 6'3 sophomore who has been for this year traditionally the first man off of the bench for the Norcross Blue Devils as a sophomore. I think maybe Norcross is just being patient because of what North Gwinnett is giving them. Yeah. Johnson, three, good. London Johnson, a right wing triple. And then they're right back in that 2-2-1, two, two, three-quarter court. North Gwinnett does not look comfortable. 
Almost a turnover. Rigsby had to Ooh. fire it over to Gary. Gary now back over to Carlberg. Carlberg has it and whips it in to Poyon. Poyon faced up. Nothing there. Here's Rigsby. Rigsby wanted to drive. Ja'Kai was there. Blocking foul. Called on Ja'Kai Howard. His first. And Remember, six fouls for the one and one, eight for the double bonus, reset at the end of the quarter. Go ahead, Coach. And you know what, with North Gwinnett right now, they're kind of trying to figure out what they need to do versus Norcross. And Norcross has just kind of got them, they got them thinking too much right now. They got to get back to just playing basketball. Look, they look passive. Drive, knocked away as Gottfried went baseline. 138 to go, 10 to 4, Norcross with the lead. They've had it from the beginning. I'm going to tell you this right now. They let some contact go. You talked about a football rivalry. It looked like an import to the basketball court. Carberg, errant pass. That's his second errant pass. This one, a turnover. Cannot afford that coming off of the bench. No. 133 to go. Pannone has it now to Jaden Harris. Harris, first team all region at 16 points, four boards, and two assists. And Rigsby almost got a steal, but he could not save it. It knocked out of bounds. He was out of bounds, and it'll go right back. The clock, though, is broke. It was just running, and now one of the officials caught it, and they got to put some time back on the clock. There we go. So we'll, we'll tell Coach Lou he's got to keep an eye on the clock now. I'm not keeping an eye on the clock. I'm going to leave it up to you because you see all things. All things with clock, scorebook, anything. Joel Hillsman is on top of it. It'll be Norcross possession, side out of bounds. They throw it into the backcourt to Johnson. Johnson now will pick up by Kahlberg, and now he'll fall back into the 2 3. Bond, attack, up, no, board. Godfrey smacked and fouled by Amir Panone, a sophomore. It's kind of interesting how they're kind of baiting them a little bit. You know, getting up on them, getting off of them. Kind of like a little bit of a sagging man-to-man -man right there. Gary has it. Now bounces it to Rigsby. Rigsby in the corner to Colbert. They closed out on him, ran at him quick. Rigsby, the left-hand drive, stop, 13-footer, in and out and oh, off. Boy. Harris on the glass, under a minute now. Harris on the attack on Carberg, drives, traveling violation call. Jaden Harris tried to force the issue there and got hit with the foul. Now Allard is into the game and Rigsby is out. This is just to give him an additional blow at the end of the quarter. Norcross defensively now, 54.9 points per game. And right now they have <laughs> Norcross to four points in this quarter so far and a turnover in the backcourt. A steal by London Johnson. Johnson turns the baseline, took the contact. No, out of bounds, good no call, and it goes to North Gwinnett. Everything that is a contact is not a foul. Good no call. Gary has it, now gives it a call, but he whips it over to Godfrey. They get to get a hoop here. They got to close the quarter strong if you're North Gwinnett. Here's Dylan Gary, unknown as a three-point bomber. Nothing moving for him at the moment. 17 seconds. They can hold for the final shot reasonably. Poyan had to retreat and catch it, put it on the floor, now gives it to Allert. They're playing hot potato with the basketball. Allert now to Gary. There's the long-range bomber. Back iron, no. Pannon, long lead up to Bond. Bond put it on the floor. Bond attack, and his foul put back up by Howard, just showing his athleticism. But we'll have free throws coming up for Samarian Bond, who attacked at the end of the quarter. And one of the things, as you look at North Gwinnett, and just like you said earlier, they are just not comfortable. They're not even catching the ball cleanly, right, on the on basic passes right here. So, once again, got to calm down, get back to being who you are, and uh, get regrouped here with .5 seconds left. A lot of things to talk about for Coach Garner there in the timeout to start oh. the second quarter. A future L Square team member sinks the first one, Samarian Bond. That's called a lose lefty. <laughs> Bond, one more. Back iron, no board, and we are at the end of the first quarter. Nothing fancy. It's just an 11-4 Norcross lead. You're watching the GHSA State Basketball Championship second round on SUV TV.
<laughs> Welcome you back inside North Gwinnett High School as we begin the second quarter. Joel Hillsman and Lewis Preston, as always, North Gwinnett in possession. Allard, corner three, hill of the rim, no, rebound comes off and a foul. First quarter thoughts, Coach Preston. I mean, first of all, we said it right there before the end of the first quarter. North Gwinnett does not look comfortable. They're getting some wide open looks. They're just not falling. As you go back to Norcross, Norcross is doing a great job of playing inside out from the free throw line down versus their zone. And they're just, once again, attacking the gaps and taking what North Gwinnett's giving them and being able to capitalize so far. Inside, Gottfried, muscle, tie him up, jump ball, possession of Norcross. All right, what's the game plan defensively right now for Norcross on R.J. Gottfried? Is it anything specific, or is it just a collective team effort at the moment? It's got to be a – first of all, there's a collective team effort. Every time he catches the ball, there's like two, maybe three guys around that Everybody is slopping down off of him and making sure, right, that he's having trouble scoring every time. Allard up. No, he lost it. He was not – Used to leading the break. Ja'Kai Howard, watch out, Brigsby. Howard, no. Howard, follow. And it was projected. And Gottfried got it. I think right now it'll favor North Gwinnett to get out and run. Absolutely. And you see Coach going to keep telling him, let's go. Whips it. Caught. Contact. Keller. Foul. On the shot. Luke Keller. It is a big, big night around the state of Georgia. And a lot of them, we tipped at 5. A lot of them will start at 6. And a lot of them will start at 6.30. And some of them will start at 7 and 7.30. They told me not to do it, but I'm going to do it. Cedar Shoals 47 and Stevenson 44. They're in the fourth quarter in 4A. They started at 4 o'clock. Holy Innocence 41 to 35. They advance to the Elite Eight under Mario Mays in his first year. Free throw good, Luke Keller. You got to congratulate Coach Mays on doing a great job there at Holy Innocence. Continued success, partner. Keller will get one more. It is Keller, Godfrey, Hancock, Rigsby, and Allard, the five on the floor for North Gwinnett right here. As two big free throws are made, the crowd claps. 11 to 6. Johnson across the timeline. Jerry Ding into the contest, number 15 for Norcross. That's a bucket. Was not able to play in the first semester. And the shot was blocked by Rigsby. That's in the scouting report now. R Ding is known when he touches it. It goes up, and Rigsby came with the block. Howard, Harris, Yak, Johnson, and Ding. Ding flashes to the middle. Inside out, Johnson, right wing, a triple. Good. London Johnson, a three. He's hit two of them from that right wing. It's an eight-point game. But what I like when the ball gets into the paint and it gets back out, gets you in your natural rhythm right there. Johnson's been in his rhythm all night shooting-wise. Keller attacking and is fouled as he went to the hoop. So Luke Keller now bringing some aggression for North Gwinnett. And you know what? He's doing a great job of, once again, tacking down the lane, playing north and south, forcing Norcross to have to make contact. It was, it was really funny right here in front of us, Joel, that you know, North Gwinnett fans exasperated that he didn't make that free throw and have a chance at an M1. Keller, free throw good. So Luke Keller now being aggressive, getting the free throws. That's three fouls in the quarter already for Norcross. And the thing about it is the last two have been shooting fouls. Exactly. Once again, you talked about North Gwinnett's got to get out of run. Get more possession. Norcross is fine with it being a half court because they can, in their minds, pick them apart. Exactly, and they've been deliberate. I, this Earlier in the year, even back four weeks ago, they weren't playing this deliberate. Ding is in the corner, and Allard almost got the steal. Johnson knocked it away. Here's Yak. Yak, Cook, fire, bang. A three wow. ball. Wow. Cook, Yak, a three. Going to DePaul. Here's Gottfried. Now that you can feel the gym yes. starting to get loud. And only nine people in here, but they're loud. Hancock whips it over now. Here's Gottfried. Gottfried turned and gives it to Rigsby. 17-8 ball game. Rigsby. Rigsby wanting to go left. Rigsby drives, jump past the corner. Allard, he stepped out of bounds. They didn't call it. He pulls up from 14. No. Rebound. Yak, he collects it, protects it, outlets it to Panone. Panone now races by Hancock. Panone to the hoop, took the contact, and wow. scored. Pierre Panone. Wow. 19-8. Double-digit lead now. It's at 11. 
And what's crazy, Dorf Gwinnett getting some good looks. Shots aren't going down. They're not getting back in transition D. That was a great job for Bordeaux just attacking the basket. And if I'm Jesse McMillan, I make sure I stress that because North Gwinnett, if they get hot, those shots start going down as trouble. Back door, Rigsby, double clutch, foul by Jerry Ding. Rigsby wanted to dunk that. Yes, he did. You know he wanted to dunk that. He, but, wants, he wants to get on the lose lefty list. He, he's not on it? How many are you keeping, 12 or 15? Just in the NBA team, partner. <laughs> so what you doing, 10? I'm going to do 12. 12, all right. Rigsby free throw good. Right now, the story in this second quarter is the attacking nature of the North Gwinnett Bulldogs. Five points scored, all of them from the free throw line. Also, five team fouls now on Norcross. No good, which means on every foul, the remainder of the quarter, North Gwinnett is shooting. They've got to use that to their advantage. They've got to keep attacking and keep putting pressure on Norcross. Now, on the other hand, with them attacking, they got to get back in transition because Norcross, with their length and with their athleticism, can take advantage of them. Patience again, looking at that 2-3 zone defense. Panone the Ding. Ding put it on the floor. Yeah. Offensive fouled on Jerry Ding. I must agree, he booked that shoulder down. 19-10. Easy call. Yeah. Easy call right there. Now, 6 to nothing, and you would think, well, North Gwinnett's getting the calls. No, North Gwinnett is, is being aggressive and making the calls. Yes. They are forcing the refs to have to blow the whistle. That's and what you want. Godfrey has it. Here's Keller. Keller has it. Worked on by Ding. Waiting. Here comes Rigsby. Rigsby dumps it in back to the basket. He turns. The double is wanting to come. He puts it back out to Rigsby. Rigsby drives. Not there. Now back out to Hancock. 424. Moving clock. Second quarter. Hancock. Not on the drive. Now gives it to RJ. Godfrey has it. Now he's going to try and drive. They're cutting off all of the lanes. Here's Hancock. Long possession, Hancock forced it. Now to the baseline in the corner, cutting is Allard. Allard jump pass to Godfrey. Godfrey now in the paint, turns up, jump hook, no. Rebound, they worked hard as a dog and got nothing. I'm going to tell you this right now. North Cross is on a great 12 to 15 foot rope defensively. They're getting very few paint touches. Inside, and when they do, they're having to make them work hard. Howard swings it. Yak, good close out by Hancock. Ding back to the basket. Whips it to Jakai. Don't let him get going. Jakai to the hoop. Up, oh, no. Rebound comes off now. Here's Godfrey. Godfrey's got to watch his back. Godfrey now going to go. Whips it to the corner. Allard back to Rigsby. Rigsby now going to come on the attack. Pump fake, not there. Now to Godfrey. I thought I would have pulled that one. <laughs> Keller shows, turns, fades. No, they wow. can't buy a bucket down there in the paint. 19 to 9, empty trip after empty trip. 316, moving clock, Norcross, a big fat 10 point lead. And you know what I worry about for North Gwinnett? Frustration right now. Yeah. Johnson there, Hancock wouldn't let him go baseline. He pulls it back out. The game and the pace slowing, and it favors the Norcross Blue Devils. Yak wanted to pull it. Johnson will. Three ball, no. Hill of the rim, Allert with the board. They've got to get out and go. Allert putting it on the floor. Norcross falling back defensively. Now going to turn. And he's not there. The reason why Lou and I are stressing that, because North Gwinnett's defense is playing so soundly, you want to get up and down the floor and not allow that defense to set. Anytime you're playing a very good defense at a high level, you don't want them to set. And also, they've got six fouls already. Exactly. Turn. Godfrey, beautiful move. No, he got the board. He goes back up. He puts it in. It oh, fell out. Uh. Folks. Tip for it. It just will not go. Running in transition. London Johnson all the way up. No rebound and a foul call. Uh-oh. That one's offensive on London Johnson. They said he swung away with the left arm. That might be the first one, Coach, that makes me say, hmm. 2-17, 19 to 9 substitutions now. Kahlberg is in. And Poyon is in. Rigsby and... Godfrey remain in. I don't think Rigsby will come out again. There's Coach. a lid on that rim for North Gwinnett. That's like the fifth shot has been in and, and out. come out. They don't have a made field goal in this second quarter. Allard, three ball. Hill of the roll. Oh, he got oh the God. roll. There's the first made field goal. It's a three ball. That's, that's what we had to do. We had to talk about it. Okay. We had to put it in the air. Yeah. 19 to 12, 153 moving clock, second quarter in the GHSA State Basketball Championships 7A, the second round. 
Bond is back in. He pips it out. Here's Johnson. Johnson. Oh, that's too easy. Up. No. Board. Fell off. Panone. No. Fight for it. Tip. Come out. And it comes back to Yak. Yak whips it across. Panone. Panone. To Ding. Out of bounds. Good job. The lead official couldn't see it. The center official says it'll stay with Norcross. 128 to go. I'm going to talk about pace now. Eight games this season of the 28. Norcross have played 70 or more. 70 or more. Yeah. But look at the low side is 41 in a win over Archer, but then scored 42 in a loss at Archer. Three, no, board Allard. 19 to 12. Godfrey on the attack. The Pannon, he hesitated. Godfrey, no, Godfrey up. Foul call. Godfrey showing some frustration. They're letting them play, though. I think I like the fact they're letting them play. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to go ahead. It's just way too many easy shots that have been yeah. missed by North Point right yeah. there close to the basket. Yeah, that, I mean, we don't have the restricted area, but, man, that's a lot in the paint, and then it's a lot in the restricted area. Yeah. R.J. Godfrey going to the free throw line. He has two points in the contest. This is his first time at the line today. He's coming in at 16 points, eight boards, and four assists per game. Free throw, back iron, no good. They can't get anything to go. I don't know who the water sponsor, but I need a lot of it. Yeah, timeout call with 1-10 to go. We'll keep it right here. 19-12, Norcross leading North Gwinnett. Here's the first thing I'm going to say. You can see the frustration a little bit with North Gwinnett, but they're only down seven points. If I was looking at this game, not paying attention to the score, I would think they were down 20, right? I understand why Coach uh, McMillan was a little bit upset with that last offensive foul right there on Johnson and kind of had that contact here. But once again, North Cross is getting what they need, right? Some of the things the last couple of possessions, they've had guys take quick shots that you don't necessarily need because you swing it side to side and get it into the middle. They still haven't done a great job, that being North Burnett, to cover that backside with the post guy or Ja'Kai Howard moving from uh, short corner to short corner. And, and now my counter to that is Ja'Kai got the first four points of the game like that. He hasn't scored since then. So that yeah. could have been some slight adjustment to prevent him from going there because he's still been in the contest. R.J. Godfrey, another free throw. No good. He missed them both. 12 points. 19 to 12 in London. Johnson at the controls. The Bond. Bond to Johnson. Bond flash. Now he has it in the short corner. Allert collapsed on it. Now here's Johnson. We're under a minute. 50 seconds less than that. Pannone out high. Norcross is okay deliberately being patient. The zone defense, though, as I'm looking at it, oh, no, Pannone, a three, hill of the rim, no, Yak went over the back. Easy call. Loose ball, foul, 37 and 8, 10 seconds. Once again, you can tell the scouting right there because he took a step and literally took a step and a half back. Right there, like, I'm going to bait you to take that shot. Can you make that shot? Glad that you are with us wherever you are. The SUV. TV.com, your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your desktop, or as the name suggests, your TV. Allard, free throw, no good. North Gwinnett has missed four straight free throws. I'll be honest with you. If I'm Coach Gorn and I'm looking at I'm like, the fact that we're only down seven. It, it's somewhat amazing. Free throw in and out. They are five of ten in the quarter from the free throw line. They might be ready to change baskets. Norcross will hold for the final shot as McMillan shouts out the instructions. Each team with a time out called, so there's four remaining each side. 18 seconds, and now they'll break out and run the set. Here comes Bond. Bond now going to attack down the lane. He put it up. It did not go to tip by Pannone. No. Rebound out to Godfrey. Godfrey's got Allard up ahead. Allard's going to catch it with six seconds. Makes his move. It was knocked away out of bounds and will be North Gwinnett basketball. Three and six, ten seconds. Whatever you've got here, we know Garner can draw up great baseline out of bounds. Johnson out. Lennox Span will come in now, so Johnson will get a little time added to recover. I'm looking for a little special action for the ball to go back to Rigsby. That's offensive. Yeah, offensive foul. 
on North Gwinnett. I mean, the more the game goes, the more I think seven points is, is sheer amazing. Godfrey out, Poyan in, and Godfrey having some words with the official. I don't think he agreed with that. Jacob Foster races in right now, 6'2 senior. He can shoot it. So watch for them to draw something up. Span gets it into Panone. Panone is going to go. He travel. He travel in wide open space. It'll be side out of bounds for North Gwinnett. Man, talk about disorientation at the end of the quarter on both sides. Hancock will be the trigger baseline out of bounds for North Gwinnett. Elevator action right here. Oh. Rigsby catches one dribble. Rigsby leans a three at the horn. No. Somehow we got the halftime. I don't know how, but we did. Eight point second quarter from North Gwinnett. Eight point second quarter from Norcross. 19 to 12 at the half. Norcross leading North Gwinnett. You're watching the GHSA State Basketball Championships in 7A. Second round on SUV TV.
Yo, but. Joe Hillsman and Lewis Preston, glad that you are back inside with us at North Gwinnett High School. We just got through visiting with Kyle Sturdivant. He's out to check out his North Cross Blue Devils. And before we break this game down, Coach, I know you're a big fan of Kyle Sturdivant. Well, first of all, we had the call of the year a few years ago <laughs> yeah, we with, him, did. with him off the glass. But for all you young hoopers out here, I want to use Kyle Sturdivant as an, as an example. Here's a young man that faced some adversity while he was at the University of Southern California. Made the transition, came back home here to Atlanta to Georgia Tech, and he's just taking advantage of the opportunity. So very, very happy to see him doing what he's doing, and we wish him continued success. We get ready for the second half. I don't want to ask you first half thoughts, Coach. That was kind of painful, but to stick with it, 19-12, what does each team need to do in the second half? First of all, Matt Garner's just got to get them to calm down a little bit. And the reason why he's got to get them to calm down a little bit, if, you, if you're in the gym right now, you think North Burnett's down 20. They're down 7, okay, 19 to 12, right? If you're, if you're North Cross, just continue to control the tempo, play inside out, right, and knock down the easy shots. North Gwinnett's Rigsby goes baseline, nice. scoring. Nice. Rigsby now with five points in the contest. That's a good start. It's a five-point game. But that was the same possession they had the first play of the game, right, and the ball went in and out. Changed baskets. <laughs> Panone, Harris, Yak, Howard, and Johnson, the five for Norcross. They move left to right. Blue tops, blue bottoms, white numbers for the Blue Devils. Johnson jump pass in the Panone. Panone back out now to Yak. Yak holds it. North Gwinnett now trying to button up the hatch defensively. Harris catches inside, took contact, and is fouled. It is Allard, Hancock, Rigsby, Gottfried, and Keller, the five that started in this second half and third quarter for North Gwinnett. I mentioned a great, great game in 4A Cedar Shoals has defeated Stevenson 75-66 in overtime so just to give you an update didn't want to leave you hanging coach I knew you wanted that one you want to know what sticks out to me this might be the most deliberate I've ever seen Norcross play very very deliberate very deliberate it, it's almost like it's the game plan yeah almost like it is the game plan no good split the free throws Jaden Harris he's two or four from the line he has two points a six-point lead, 20 to 14. First to 40 will win. Allard now fakes. Allard all the way. No, it did not go. I thought it was a goal 10. It is. Goal 10. Yeah, Allard's going to get it. That shows you the athletic ability of Ja'Kai Howard. Hey, I don't want to make a football reference here, right? But watching these two teams play is like watching a running game. Uh, <laughs> it's like watching a program. Three yards of dust. A.K.A. Alabama. Uh, three, great running play. Three yards great in a game. cloud of dust. Look, it's a four-point game. Hadn't been this I'm close in a while. You. Just to show you how stagnant it was, it was 19-8 to eight for a long time. Harris, a three. Harris, no. Rebound. Pannon saved it. Hancock, Yak has it. They'll retrieve it. Here's Johnson. Johnson attack goes up. No rebound. Out of bounds. Wow. And it'll go to Norcross. Oh, excuse wow. me. It'll go to North Gwinnett. 20 to 16, 628. How much is Bitcoin worth? Twenty to sixteen, six sixteen to go. I said the first to forty. That might be the first to thirty-five. It might be knocked away. Hancock recovers. Now he gives it to Rigsby. They lost it. He said it was deflected. Johnson is now giving him tenacious defense. Rigsby will come across. Two minutes gone now here in this third quarter. Inside our first three minutes, we affectionately call it Barry's barometer. Right now, Rigsby no board. Harris foul call. They kind of came out there with that little bit of flex action right there for Rigsby to get that three. Nice look. Comes up short right there. Great rebound and foul right there by Harris. Glad you said that. That reminds me of something that I got to bring out to you that I saw last night from Collins Hill. You call it pinch post action? Yes. Well, they've got a pinch post play I think you're going to love. We'll there talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> Turnover. 5.34 to go. North Gwinnett offensively this year, 62.1 points per game. 
defensively 51.5 points per game through 27 games. I don't think we'll hit either one of those numbers in this one. Five and a half to go. State playoffs, second round. The state tournament in Georgia, the GHSA. Glad that you're with us wherever you are. The SUV TV. Dot com. Godfrey show the range. Bottom. A three ball from the top by R.J. Godfrey. I, I tell you one thing, there's not a lid on that basket. They've cut it to one. And through Barry's barometer, seven to one in the first three minutes in favor of North Gwinnett. And now the crowd loud and starts stomping on the bleachers. Trust me, you hadn't heard this place loud for real. Johnson up. No rebound. They fight and tip for it. And Rigsby comes away with it. He fancies it behind the back. Whips it up to Allard. Allard stops. He had Gary in the corner. And he should have popped it to him. Godfrey on the attack. Lost it. Shovels it to Rigsby. Allard is cutting. He caught it. Allard tried to whip it back. Turnover. The pass was too late to Gary. Harris comes away with it. Up to Ja'Kai. Ja'Kai got it blocked. By Get that shot out of here. Brendan Rigsby with a beat down SWAT. Uh-oh, Ja'Kai. Uh-oh, Ja'Kai. They're going to rip you about that one, but Yak, three, no, board, Hancock. North Gwinnett trying to take the lead for the first time. Hancock got him on skates to the hoop, took the contact, and is fouled by Panone. Wow. We talked about what they didn't do when they had the foul advantage in that second quarter. Now Hancock on the attack. It was with body, but he's being aggressive. And when you're aggressive, you get that. I just got to make sure microphone's on underneath the table. Because I'm telling you, I think people be sneaking to what we're talking about. We're tied. Hancock free throw good, 20 to 20. North Gwinnett has never led. They got a chance to lead right here. No, fell off. 2020 ball game. We got it tied at 420. Third quarter. Preston, Hillsman, SUV TV, Swanee, Georgia. Here is now Johnson. He gives it now to Harris, who swings it to Panone. Panone back to Harris at the top. Rigsby's on him. Slides it over to Yak. Yak back to Harris. Harris now to Panone. Panone going to attack on the taller. Allard wow. and score. Nice move. The little dipsy do up and under worked on him. And a timeout call by Jesse McMillan after the make. 3.58 to go. I saw this last night. <laughs> right around the same time. 22 to 20. And what happened last night? The team that called the timeout after a make got blowed up. How many more timeouts did they have to call? They had to call two more immediately within two minutes. And next thing you know, it was an 18 to 6 run. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, check my timeline or check out Bracket Breakdown tomorrow because we will break that down. <laughs> All right, Norcross. I got to talk at the start of it at halftime and forgot to go check the book officially. Look at what I did. That's uh, the first time ever. A boo-boo. Well, you know, start events good people, man. Great people. And then you guys started talking sets and plays and personnel and <laughs> conferences. And, you know, I never leave – a true basketball conversation, not somebody swigging water. Drive, Hancock scores. 22-22, North Cross and North Gwinnett. Out of the timeout, North Gwinnett scores. I can't even hear myself scream right now. And it's really not loud. There's nine people in the gym. Socially distanced. They're socially distanced. There are nine people. <laughs> Yak to Harris. Harris shovels it inside. Bond up. Knows Samarion Bond. Bond with key, key minutes off of the bench. The offensive production, if you're looking for that, then you're not seeing what he's doing on the defensive end. Made the region all defensive team. He's a sophomore coming off the bench at Norcross. I'll leave it right there. The lefty's at the free throw line. He puts it in the air. It rolled off. This basket down here is broken. One of three from the line is Bonds. I might go back to the game just to see how many shots were missed on that basket. <laughs> A lot, bro. Bond, one more. Good. Would have been a lane violation had he not. He split them. 23-22. North Gwinnett just can't get over that 
Mountain, 316 in a moving clock. Hancock to Rigsby. They showed extensive pressure. Three-quarter court did Norcross. Coming up on three minutes to go. Rigsby to the right. He picked up his dribble. He gives it to Aller. Godfrey shows. Yak on his back. Turns over the shoulder. Got whack. Got it back. Got it blocked oh. again. And now a foul call from the center official on the opposite side. That's a questionable call. 2.57 to go. And that is called on Yak. And R.J. Gottfried go to the free throw line. I don't know about that one. I would tell you what I would do every time that uh, Gottfried would go put it on the floor, I'd go double. I like he didn't finish, Coach. Next year, he'll do it quicker. He made his move to the baseline. It just wasn't quick enough. Right. Free throw good from R.J. Gottfried. Gottfried with four points in this quarter. He has six in the contest. Nobody's in double figures either way. London Johnson had six at the half to lead Norcross. Five from Yak. Gottfried free throw in the air. Good. So he's made them both. He's two or four from the free throw line. And North Gwinnett for the very first time lead. 24-23. 250. Third quarter. That's how long it took him to get the lead, and it's only one point. Oh. Howard pass stolen by Hancock. Hancock's running. Howard can jump. Dunk. Oh. Get up. Get up, boy. Get up. Get, don't, why did you go dunk with him, Jakar? Jordan Hancock with a fast break jam. Jakar, why did you do that, son? Hancock just split energy into this place. They get it in the bond. Bond fading away. No rebound. Rigsby to Godfrey. Godfrey up to Hancock. Hancock coming downhill. Hancock to the middle. Hancock drives off the window. No. Rebound comes off now to Johnson. Ja'Kai Howard, son, why did you jump? 26-23, 205, third quarter. Harris drives. Ja'Kai goes up. No, Ja'Kai tip. Rebound to Kahlberg. Kahlberg gives it to Rigsby. North Gwinnett, a three-point lead under two minutes. They hadn't had the lead all day until a few minutes ago. And now, Coach... Garner brings it up across time. Just listen to the crowd. There's nine people in the gym. Listen to them. Listen to the nine people in the gym. 26 to 23. Timeout. 151 to go. And the last and the last time right there that Coach Garner called the timeout. Last time he ended up scoring right there. Right? So he's call, He's going to draw up something right here to see if he can get another score to get this thing up to five points and really put some pressure on Norcross. The energy in this building has gone to another level with all nine people. I think it's 19 people. I know you said nine. We're going to see the culture of Norcross right here with 151 to go here in the third quarter. Three ball. Allard. No. Rebound. It's rejected. RJ Godfrey said, get that shot out of here. This is what playoff basketball is all about. Nothing easy at the rim. Three ball. Huge Harris. Shot. Good. Jaden Harris, a triple. That's a Had huge to shot. have it. Yeah. That's what you call timely bump buckets. Here comes North Gwinnett into the front court. Rigsby operating the offense. 75 seconds. Johnson with the steal. Johnson to Howard. Howard, layup. No foul on the floor on Allard. I told you coming out of the timeout, we were going to learn a lot about Norcross. Nice little play, screen in for Harris right there for the three. Then London Johnson getting on the loose ball, getting that 50-50 ball, getting in the head right there to the Ty Howard for an attempt at two points, although he misses the first free throw. Yeah, he's only got four points. He had the first four of the game on beautiful offensive execution. Howard, no. 
Rebound, Godfrey. He's on the glass. Man, is he on the glass. And a whistle, and what do we have? What was the whistle for? They stopped play. All right, 26-26. The lowest score I've ever seen with this much energy. Carlberg, a three. Bang! Off the bench and into the scoreboard. Gunner, Carlberg. North Gwinnett in front, 53 seconds. Johnson walks it across the timeline. Carlberg picks him up right there between the rings. Clock moving with a hole for the final shot. They've got now Jacob Foster in. He can shoot it. Number 22, he's in possession of the basketball. He spins it. Harris, open, three ball, back iron, long rebound, chased down by Johnson. He goes to the corner. He goes baseline. He shoots it in the bond. Bond turns up with the left hand. No, Allen on the glass. 28 seconds. North Gwinnett can hold for the final shot. Here comes Godfrey into the forecourt, picked up by Bond. He goes behind the back. It opened up. He drives. He cannot get it to go. Bond comes back with 17 seconds. Bond all the way. Bond layup. It came out. Rebound underneath. John's up good. Johnson. Wow. 29-28. Wow. Here comes Rigsby. Gives it up to Hancock to Rigsby to beat the horn. No. And we are at the end of the third quarter. They have turned it up a notch. We got to pay a bill. Fourth quarter coming up next, 29-28 North Gwinnett. SUV TV's coverage of the GHA State Basketball Championships will continue. Joe Hillsman and Lewis Preston, glad that you are back here with us. SUV TV. In our SUV TV courtside, or not courtside, I want to be courtside. <laughs> top side seat, top level seats. Look at me, I'm all over the place. 29 28, Joe Hillsman, Lewis Preston, on our SUV top, TV top level. See, I, I just jacked that all the way up, bro. That will be in the outtakes. It, outtake, intake, all kind of takes. And once again, what Joel's excited about is watching how North Gwinnett came back in this third quarter to finally take the lead. And you know what? Like we say in the fourth quarter, this is where the cream rises to the top. I'm curious to see for North Cross who's going to step up. We already know who's going to step up for North Gwinnett. Foster three, no good. He gets the start. Rebound off to Johnson. Johnson now to Harris. Harris a three. Good. Jaden Harris. He's hit a couple of big threes. That's the second one he's knocked in. 30. Oh, now they say it's a two. They say it's a two for Harris. That's what seniors are supposed to do. Pass knocked away. Carlberg has it. Carlberg, Hancock, Rigsby, Gottfried, and Dylan Gary. Now, Gary has not made a shot nor a, but attempted one. I would keep eyes on 11 as we get late. Inside, Ja'Kai Howard with the steal. Outlet to Johnson. Johnson going to go one on two, and they knocked it away. Carlberg could not save it. It goes out of bounds. All right. It's a one-point game. It's been close. I said first to 40 <laughs> would do it. Norcross, four and four in games decided by five points or less. Mm -hmm. North Gwinnett, four and five in games decided by five points or less. Harris had the pass tip. Bond recovers. Now over to Johnson. Johnson surveys. He's picked up defensively by Rigsby. A minute gone by. I said the first of 40. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm not a gambling man. This game's going to be five points or less. Yeah. And that'll be a big wide five points. Here's Harris on the attack. Goes in, took contact, and foul on Godfrey. That Great is, job of attacking. That is the third time, right? Jaden Harris with two threes and then taking advantage. He was going to force somebody to make a call right there. Jaden Harris has seven points in the contest. He's two or four from the free throw line. That one is short and off. No good. Bulldogs. 
One more coming. Mm. 6.43, fourth quarter. You know we're early in the day, right? Oh, we are. There's a game right down the street. Oh. 30 to 29. Wherever you are in Georgia, there's a game right down the street. Free throw, good. <laughs> Three of six. I don't know if that's going to cost them. 31-29. There's the 2-2-1 two -two again, Lou. Yes. Godfrey across the timeline. Both teams have been in multiple five-point games this year. Catch. Keller. Oh, get it out. Oh, Howard with a block. Rebound comes off now out. Long lead pass Harris up to Howard. Howard, a three ball. No. Keller on the glass. You talk with Coach Matt Garner. He says Keller anchors them. We saw his effect there early in the second quarter. Corner three. Gary, you left him. No. Board by Harris. They are waiting for a three to go. Yes. Harris, pull up. Transition three. In and out. Rebound. Johnson up. Foul right. by Keller. But you know what by London Johnson right there? I know the ball didn't go in. Great job using his left hand right there. Great job. That's the reason why he got the foul and an opportunity to knock down these free throws. Left hand on the left side, 5.57 ago. We're in the fourth quarter. Johnson free throw is good. London Johnson now. Nine points in the contest. If you're looking for a double-figure scorer, I don't have one. Six, seven, eight points for Jaden Harris. Seven points for R.J. Gottfried, five points for Rigsby. Free throw good. There's your double-figure scorer, London Johnson. Johnson has 10 in the contest. He came in averaging just over 12 points per game and 4.8 rebounds. Is this more 2-1-2? Two, two? Yeah, this is more of a 2-1-2 two, two, three quarter right here. Ooh. Hancock has been big. His dunk gave him life, five points in that third quarter, 17-point third quarter from the North Gwinnett Bulldogs. Inside, deep, fake, foul. Yeah, you know what? That's the maturity of R.J. Gottfried right there. He knew the double was coming. And when you're playing a younger guy like Howard who's using his athleticism, they're going to go for that pump every time. But you, but you also know what he did, right? He walked? No. Oh. He hit him with that shoulder right there and got the young man back hit a little Jakai? bit. Or yeah. Samarian no, on, no, the, on no, the help. He hit Ja'Kai Howard with that shoulder and got him back off of him. Made it easy for the ref to make that call. Free throw. Godfrey. Good. <laughs> Godfrey now on the day is three of five from the free throw line. He has eight points in the contest. Ja'Kai Howard is out. And Mir Panone is back in the sophomore at 6'3". One more coming for R.J. Godfrey. Good. Gottfried on the season is shooting 65% from the field. Timeout, 5.36 to go, 33-31, Norcross with the lead. Now, I mentioned North Gwinnett coming in at 20-7 and, and Norcross coming in at 21-7. and seven. Let's look at the schedules. Notable losses now for this North Gwinnett ball club. They lost by two points to Shiloh. Lost twice to Grayson by three points and by one point. Hmm. Lost to Wheeler by three points. Lost to Lanier, lost to Pace, and then lost to South Forsyth by three points. So, one, two, three, four, five of their seven losses were by five points or less. Right. Okay. On the flip side for Norcross, we'll look at their notable losses. They lost at Green Forest, lost to McEachern, Milton, Evans, Miller Grove, Burkmore, and Archer. Let me tell you how powerful those seven losses are. They're all still playing. They're all still playing. And technically, Shiloh just was eliminated last night. South Forsyth was eliminated in the first round. Yeah. So five of the seven losses for North Gwinnett, they're still alive. We'll look at the wins during the next time out. Here's London Johnson into the forecourt. Johnson, Harris, Gack, Bond, and Pannone on the floor. Pannone has it between the rings. Two-point Norcross lead. He drives. He takes contact. He's fouled by Keller. They didn't agree with it, but he got him across the forearm and a foul. And once again, getting down the lane, forcing them to have to make a call. It's a great job. Great drive. Now you got to take advantage of the free throw line. Man, the girls, the scores are flying in here now. Free throw good from Panone. All I got to say is Joel Hillsman's phone looks like the stock market ticker. <laughs> Both screens. I had to close one screen. Can't keep up with it. Free throw, no good from Panone. 
Rebound offensively, but then out of bounds. Wonderful hustle, though, from Pannon. 34-31, 5-14. Remember, I said it, first to 40. <laughs> we'll win the game. Rigsby has it. I didn't think I was going to see this, though. I didn't. I thought I saw high 50s, low 60s. I didn't think I'd see something this deep into the fourth quarter. Three minutes gone, and it's 34-31. Hancock has it. Now to Gottfried. Catches on that post. Gottfried turns, spins, coming with the double. They knocked it away. He got the board. He put it on the floor, though. Rigsby, he's due for a three. No board. Pannon. Pannon with his head up and picks it and gives it up to Harris. Harris pushes. Picked up by Rigsby. Now going to drive. Took the contact wow. and scored. That's a veteran move coming from Jaden Harris. And you know what? Jaden Harris in the second half has stepped up like a senior is supposed to step up. Four and a half, fourth quarter. Five-point lead. 36-31, 4-24, moving clock, fourth quarter. Rigsby has it for North Gwinnett. That's a big five points now. Hancock worked on by Johnson. He hands it over to Allard. Allard now to Gottfried. They will action to Rigsby. Rigsby holds. He puts it on the floor. Bond can guard him because he's a lefty as well. Allard took a bump, and now here's Hancock. They've gone stagnant offensively. Rigsby up fake to the hoop. Drives, jump pass. Allard open. Three. Yes! Thomas Allard a three. He has eight points. Great drive and kick and create from Brandon Rigsby. And inside out kills you every time. 36-34. 3.44, moving clock, fourth quarter. North Gwinnett crowd stomps on the bleachers. Yak has it. Here's Harris. Harris to Johnson. They've been patient offensively all day. 36-34. Win or go home. Harris, baseline, drive, and Godfrey blocked it. He sat there and waited on him. Pannon with the hustle. Rigsby, Bond, out of bounds. North Gwinnett basketball, 3.17 to go. Allard with eight points in the contest. Coming in, averaging 11 points, four boards and four assists. He's got two big, big triples in this game. He had a big one in the third quarter, in the second quarter. That was their only made field goal in the second quarter. And then he had that three just now. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, whoever wins this game, both teams, right, you're going to have to get to the cold tub. <laughs> There's a lot of bumps and bruises. Yeah. This is old school right here, bringing back memories. N notable wins for North Gwinnett. Newton, Gainesville, Cherokee Buff, South Cobb, Archer, St. Pius, Collins Hill three times, and in a first-round state victory over Roswell. Those are North Gwinnett's. Notable wins. All of the older playoff teams. Cherokee Buff, I believe, is gone. And I know South Cobb is gone. Centennial put them away. Centennial had to come from behind last night in 6A to beat Wanda Barrow at home. A lot of talk about Centennial. I don't trust them. Here's Allard. Another three. It's off. Long rebound. Rigsby chased it and threw it off of Johnson. 50-50 ball. Great hustle. Norcross notable wins over Denmark twice, including on the road in the first round. Westlake, West Nassau, Florida, which was their only out-of-state game. Warner Robins, Archer twice, and a split with Burkmark. They weren't able to play that heavy out-of-state schedule that they normally play. Warner Robins eliminated in the first round. Denmark eliminated in the first round. Everybody else is still alive. Drive, Rigsby, and one, Brandon Rigsby, the hoop and the horn. That's a nice move right there. 36-36. Go ahead, Lou. You're going to go ahead and put it. He's on my lose left. Oh, of course. 37-36. Yeah. The free throw is good. Five points in the half. Eight in the game for Rigsby. One point North Gwinnett lead, 225. Joel Hillsman Lewis Preston, the GHSA State Basketball Championships in 7A. Boys, second round. Swanee, Georgia, North Gwinnett High School. North Gwinnett and Norcross. Level Grove Road taking on Spalding Drive. Timeout, Norcross. 2-11 to go. I'm just going to go ahead and say it right now. If I'm Norcross, 
I'm going to ride Jaden Harris out. Okay. I like the way he's played. That's big coming from you right now. In this second half, two, four, five, nine points in the second half, ten in the game. The only downfall right now, three or six shooting from the free throw line. Since I mentioned that, two fouls on Norcross, three on North Gwinnett with 2.11 to go fourth quarter. But once again, I keep going back. I just look at the body language. Okay. Like, it's like, you know what, if I'm going to lose, I'm willing to take the hits for it. Okay. You know, some other guys are playing a little bit tentative right now. You can't be tentative on the road if you want to come out of here with a victory. Once again, the ticker tape over here <laughs> is, is, is a buzz. Dutchtown girls, 42 to 34 over McIntosh. You know, we saw a little bit of Dutchtown girls yes, we a couple did. of weeks ago. Yes, we did. Beating Eagles Landing to win the region. Yes, Eagles Landing boys with a victory there into the Elite Eight. Man, is it, is it bracket breakdown yet? It will be tomorrow night. I know, right? Bracket breakdown. Here's your promo, 7 o'clock. And here's a little hint. You do not want to miss it. It is about the basketball. You know it is. Pannon now to Jaden Harris. Two minutes inside. Yak, 15-footer. It's short. Tip. Rebound comes off the Brandon Rigsby. The first to 40 will win it. Under two minutes. 155 moving clock. Hancock, Rigsby. Gary, Godfrey, and Allard, the five on the floor right now. And Gary on the floor, he may hit a big-time shot. Rigsby drives, layup, no, he forced it. Bond comes off. He gives it to Johnson, who's got Yak, Pannon, and Harris on the floor. London Johnson circles. They leave him open. Yak, corner, three, in and out. Rebound, Pannon. It's rejected again by R.J. Godfrey, his third block. Hancock running, they're coming from behind him. And a timeout call by Matt Garner. A wonderful timeout because Hancock did not see the defense coming from behind him. And you know what? Garner did, and that's why he called the timeout. Two timeouts remaining for the North Gwinnett Bulldogs. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Sheesh. This is what you want. I know. I love it. 37 to 36. I would not want playoff games any other way. I mean, we're here. What do you expect? 37-36, he's Lewis Preston. I'm Joe Hillsman. We are glad that you are with us. The SUVTV.com. Wherever you are, phone, laptop, tap, desktop, any of your mobile devices, glad that you're with us. What you got, Lou? I'm just looking at your ticker tape over here. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, oh, what, what is this? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. McEachern is shooting the lights out. 13-7 on Grayson with 3.36 to go in the first quarter. If McEachern walks out of there with a victory, I don't want to hear nothing else about Mike Thompson. And you guys know exactly who I'm talking to. <laughs> Allert gives it now to Rigsby. Rigsby worked on by Johnson. Rigsby bounces it. Catch at the post to Godfrey. Godfrey turns. Man, they get a hoop here to be huge. Rigsby there. 70 seconds, no shot clock. Hancock, a three ball, no board. Yak, one minute. I don't trust Yak on Godfrey down here in the last minute. Jaden Harris, no, oh. out of bounds off a of bond. 37-36. But I'm all right with that. I'm going to live with him. Rigsby, Allard. Hancock, Godfrey, Gary, the five on the floor. Gary's over here in the corner. Gary's over here in the corner. Pannon, Johnson, Yak, Harris, and Bond. Foul given. Now they're going to have to really rack up the fouls. That's only a third. They have two more to give. Each team with two fouls to give. Remember, you got to get the six for the one and one. Two fouls each to give, 40 and 8, 10 seconds. North Gwinnett not in a hurry. They got the lead. They got the ball. Johnson gives it, and you know what? Coach Mack knows it. He's going to get him in the bonus right now. Fourth team foul. And now Foster, yeah, Foster comes in. You won't see this next year. Well, let me take that back. It doesn't go to the state tournament until year three. 37-36, but by the time you get to this round in the Elite Eight, the basketball schools, they know what to do. Allard has it. Foul. All right, there's foul number five. None to give now. So Norcross is telling North Gwinnett you're going to have to win it from the 15-foot mark. 
36 and 2, 10 seconds. Another foul will be given. Coach Jesse Mack reached over and gave the sign. Got it in, almost a steal. Rigsby got away from Foster, and there's the foul. All right, so now Brandon Rigsby going to the free throw line. It has not been nice today for Rigsby. Two of five. Check it. Two of four. He had an and one earlier. 4-8-17, the line score coming into this fourth quarter for North Gwinnett. 11, 8, and 9. It's the 1 and 1. Good. Two point game. 38, 36. 33 and 1, 10 seconds for Rigsby. Timeout, Norcross. You said first one to 40, right? I did. Okay. And I called it, what, way back in the second quarter. That's why you want to tune in to Bracket Breakdown tomorrow. SUV TV, Lewis Preston, Russ, Dr. Russ Triaga. And myself, Joel Hillsman, and you, the viewer. And tomorrow, we're going to let you interact with us on Bracket Breakdown. They don't, they don't want to do that. Some people don't want to do that. I, I bet you they do. Okay. They might not want to. They're not going to have a choice. Well, they, they have a choice. Well, they have a choice. But we're going to drop some nuggets on them. Though. Man, you want nuggets? You were over in 5A the other day. I was in 7A the other day. I'm about to leave and go to 6A. 4A got some good film going on. See you in the gym. 31 and 3, 10 seconds. Don't spit your coffee up, Lou. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> All right. Rigsby has one more free throw coming. It's big because it makes it a three-point game, Coach. Yes, it does. Rigsby the lefty at the line. He's three of five from the free throw line. North Gwinnett has nobody on the line, and now Norcross peels them back. Number 22, Jacob Foster is in the game. That is a shooter. Rigsby, oh no good. Goodness. Rebound comes off now. 30 seconds. Panone baseline in the corner. Here's Harris on the drive. Took the contact up. No, it's tipped. Rebound comes off. Foster. Over the yak, a three ball. Nope. It is short. Air ball. Panone saved it back. 14 seconds. Pass is stolen by Hancock. He was out of bounds. 11 and 6, 10 seconds. I'm looking at Jesse Mack. I want to see if he calls a timeout. Got to call it. Got to call it. And he does. Jesse Mack, a full timeout. 11 and 6, 10 seconds. McKeatron has a 17 to 10 lead on Grayson at the end of the first quarter. I'm going to tell I you. I wonder. Scoot, go ahead, Coach. No, no, go, go. I'm You're gonna, talking about this game, and I was about to make a comment. I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. I would kind of do the America's play action, which is the, the guard the big screen across, and kind of have him ha come off of that second big up top, let Jaden Harris in middle pick and roll, right, let him go to work. I would let him go to work. I'm going to win it or end my season with Jaden Harris. Uh-oh. The, the nine people nine turned people. to 190. Yep. You want to talk about good lungs. 38 to 36, good lungs, good feet, and loud stomping bleachers. North Gwinnett out of the timeout early. It's a full. Jesse Mack using every single second, as I wish most coaches would do. <laughs> 11 and 6, 10 seconds, and the scores table was, they didn't blow the horn either. You noticed that, right? I did. <laughs> Side out of bounds. Howard is the trigger. Foster is on the floor, 22. Johnson, now it'll be Pannon as the trigger. A quick switch. Where's the screen? Looking, looking, he gets it to Howard with 10 seconds. Howard now, here's Jaden Harris, gets the screen. Harris cut away. Johnson, a three, he's fouled. Wow. Thomas Allard fouled him on a three-point attempt. Oh. Cardinal sin from the 6'6 junior. Now London Johnson going to the free throw line, two of two. He's got three shots. First one is good. 
He's not going to miss these folks. He's not going to miss them. Yeah, that almost made me spit my coffee out. He's not going to miss them. Time oh. out, Coach Garner. You know what Garner's doing. He's drawing up the play. Yes, he is. But the sad part is London Johnson is not going to miss these free throws. This young man is living for this moment. Coming in from Charlotte, North Carolina, a sophomore, he wants this moment. He's not missing these free throws. Joe Hill will set it. Guy wants, he wants to be a big-time player, man. Here you go. You're a sophomore at a big-time program in the playoffs. Here you go. But that's one of the things we haven't talked about tonight is how young Norcross really is. is. And they haven't even busted out. Justin Mitchell hadn't yeah. played today. Jerry Dinger Jr. hadn't got right. much burn. Hezekiah Flagg hasn't played. We saw some Marion Bond, the sophomores out there. Right. Three of their five positions are young, sophomores and freshmen. So a lot of great things to build off of right here. Coach Garner is telling the official something. He's setting him up. 3.5 on the clock. Two more free throws coming for the sophomore London Johnson out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And that's what good coaches do. You give the official the heads up of what's going to happen. North Gwinnett crowd making noise. Johnson free throw. It rolled off. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. London Johnson. Well, that's why you don't talk people up. Yep. You let them do it. And now they get really loud. If you miss this one, man, London Johnson, one more free throw. This one to tie it. Short. He missed it. Rebound. Allard. Allard. And it's over. What did they call a foul? Or did they call a timeout? It's so loud, I don't know what happened. London Johnson missed three free throws, or two free throws. What, what's the call? What is 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 the call? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at veterans. Veterans just beat the brakes off of Woodward Academy. I mean, they beat them to a pulp. 81 to 63. Veterans, that's the toughest game they played all year. They played nine middle schools all year, and they finally beat a big time team. I don't, and they beat them like a drum. One and five, ten seconds to go. It is North Gwinnett's basketball. It is baseline out of bounds. London Johnson missed two free throws. I don't believe he missed that. I do not believe London Johnson missed the free throws. Tomorrow I see him at the gym. You're a sophomore. You'll see him tonight. Yeah, tonight, yeah. Oh my. Oh my. All right. All you can do is foul. Can you foul before the inbound and get away with it? Without being intentional. Looking, 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 Godfrey. Godfrey in the alley. Just throw it in the air. North Gwinnett has advanced to the quarterfinals for the second year in a row. 38 to 37. They didn't even get to 40. Wow. That was a great basketball game. Frustrating. I feel, I feel bad for London. But you know what? He'll come back. He'll be back. What a game. What a game. Norcross did not score in double digits in the second, third, and fourth quarters. North Gwinnett 17 to nine in the third quarter, and then they tied them in the fourth with nine points. Their only double digit quarter for North Gwinnett, 17 in that third. 38 to 37, the North Gwinnett Bulldogs improved to 21 and seven. They have won 14 in a row, and they're going to the quarterfinals for the second straight year. Norcross, the season is over at 21 and 8. The two game winning streak is snapped, and the career of Jaden Harris is over. Good. I got the book. All Your I, thoughts? All, all I got to say is this We talked about it at the end of the first quarter, right? We talked about it at the end of the first half. For as bad as North Gwinnett played, they were only down seven points. And there, we saw in the third quarter is the reason why you have home home court advantage because that 17 point third quarter ended up being the difference in this game once again london johnson missing those two free throws but it shouldn't have come down to those two free throws once again 
great game. Both teams did what they needed to do. North Gwinnett comes out on top. Very happy for their program. If you've seen, and, and we talked about it at the beginning of the game, six wins, four wins, three wins, 11 wins, and in the last two years, 38 wins. This is what building a program and a culture can do for you. Great, great job. Congrats to, to Coach Garner, North Gwinnett. Tough way to end for Norcross, but you know what? This is what basketball in the state of Georgia is all about. This is what playoff basketball is all about. You either got to step up or you go home. North Gwinnett has won the basketball game, and they don't have a double-figure score. Nine points from Brandon Rigsby, nine points from R.J. Gottfried, eight points from Thomas Allard. You want to talk about two big-time three-pointers from Thomas Allard yes. in that contest. Those were the leaders. For Norcross on the other side, London Johnson, man, oh, man, 11 points in the game, Ooh. 10 points from Jaden Harris, and then five from Pannon and five from Yak. London Johnson, tough, man, missed those free throws there. Young man, hold your head up. You're a sophomore. Learn from it. You've got a pretty good future in front of you. Keep working hard. Use this to grow, young man. Use it to grow. I had confidence in you. You let me down, bro. You got to rectify that. Congratulations to North Gwinnett, Matt Garner. In, you rattled off those back-to-back -back wins. He's in the Elite Eight in the quarterfinals for the second year. He is now 4-1 and one in the state tournament over the last two years. Final score, North Gwinnett Bulldogs 38, the North Cross Blue Devils 37, and I guess I need to be proper. North Gwinnett will go on the road in the quarterfinals, and they will take on the winner of Pebble Brook and Newton, which is somewhere in the first quarter. So, well, if Newton wins the ball game, guess where they got to play at? Here, right? Mm, yes. Yeah, yeah. If, if Newton wins. All right, 38-37, North Gwinnett over North Cross. For Lewis Preston and our entire crew, and for you, the viewer, I'm Joel Hillsman, the SUV TV.